Hello, Milwaukee! Are you ready for four more years of Donald Trump? Oh, me too. Listen, if you didn't, if you didn't believe in miracles before Saturday, you better be believing right now. Thank God Almighty that we live in a country that still believes in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. And our God, our God still saves, He still delivers, and He still sets free. Because on Saturday, the devil came to Pennsylvania holding a rifle, but an American lion got back up on his feet and he roared! Oh yeah, he roared! Yeah, yes he did! You see, America, this is a difficult time for our nation. Inflation is crushing families. Illegal immigration is crushing American workers. Failing schools and victimhood culture are crushing our poorest kids. And the weakness of the Commander-in-Chief has invited world wars all around our world. Joe Biden is asleep at the wheel, and we're headed over a cliff. We, we hear despair in the voices of a millennial couple raising two kids in a one-bedroom apartment because they can't afford a house. We see pain on the faces of Gold Star parents because their Commander-in-Chief, Joe Biden, literally forgets their son died in uniform on his watch. America, we deserve better. We deserve so much better. I was raised by a single mom in poverty. We had plastic spoons, not silver spoons. But she taught me to work hard, to take responsibility, and reject victimhood. Thank God for my wonderful mama. I know, I know this is going to offend the liberal elites. Every time I say it, it offends them. But let me say it one more time. America is not a racist country. No, we're not. But if you were looking for racism today, you'd find it in cities run by Democrats. Look on the south, look on the south side of Chicago. Poor black kids trapped in failing schools. Thousands shot every single year, including one of my former interns, Daquan. But there's good news. It's conservative values that restores hope. It's Republican policies that lifts people up. I partnered. I partnered with the greatest president of my generation, President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> On the biggest tax cuts ever for working people and single moms and opportunity zones for neighborhoods that need the most. 
But Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, they give illegal immigrants free hotel rooms while our veterans, while our veterans sleep on the streets. Disgusting. Disgusting. Trump secured our border once, and Donald Trump will secure it again. This November, this November, we are not deciding simply the fate for the next four years. We're setting a course for the next 40 years. I, I see our heartland filled with huge American factories powered by abundant American energy, building what America needs, creating generational wealth for blue-collar workers. You see, we are the Republican Party of Frederick Douglass and of Abraham Lincoln, of Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump. But we, four more years. I love it. Awesome. We are not simply the party of our leaders. We are also the party of a young woman in Wisconsin taking over her family farm, an Hispanic father working 16-hour days in Nevada, and a black teenager in Philly starving for opportunity. We're not just the grand old party of the past. We are the great opportunity party of America's future. And there's only, hear me clearly, and there's only one person who can make that vision a reality, Donald J. Trump. God bless America. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.